Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Play Galaxy Express 3-9. In the last episode, we started off the Maytel chapter, as the three space pirate heroes are going to find whatever the hell we're looking for in this frozen underground area. And now Harlock and Esmeraldas have made it to their point. Hopefully Tetsuro can do the same. Yeah, this, remi this reminds me of some, like, Final Fantasy game where it's like, everyone's gotta get to their point, you know, before we can unleash the ultimate magic. Let's go this way. I bet you they both end up leading to the same spot, so it really don't matter. Here we go, Tetsuro! Who's actually using uh, Toshiro's gun? So you know Toshiro's still sort of with us in gun form, I guess. And this should be pretty easy. It's pretty good. You know what's kind of funny is they did change. I like how they changed the angle because he's so low to the ground. There we go. Flawless victory. You know what's funny, too, is Tetsuro's gun is almost half the size of him. He's almost like a hobbit. He's very hobbit-like, is what I'm trying to get at. Anyways, let's keep going. Hey, here's the door. Maybe I went the long way and I uh, missed the fight. Nah, eh, well, don't matter. So yeah, hopefully we've all made it. We've all hit the door at the same time. Esmeralda's won't even say anything. See, Harlock's more of an open guy. He talks about stuff. Like Esmeralda, she can't keep to herself. And look at this. There's four guns. Are those like legendary gun makers? And like, uh. Oh, oh she, she had his other gun, I guess. But yeah, I guess they're like, they're supposed to be like legendary guns or something. That open up this, this place. This is more like Xenogears than anything. Look at this place. Yeah, ことちろんが4人の博士の協力で作り上げた。で、ウォッツボーガンズ。ウォッツボーハッド。ウォッツボーハッド。ウォッツボーハッド。ウォッツボーハッド。ウォッツボーハッド。ウォッツボーハッド
It's like a gun lance. Oh shit, he just took one of the guns. How are we supposed to get in there now? <laughs> Who'd he hit? Oh, look, she threw him the gun. And he's gonna get in there before it closes. There you go, Tetsuro. Nice job. So here we are, and wherever the hell we are. Are you okay, Meito? I don't know what you're screaming, but I'm gonna go kill that guy. Before he takes... Whatever the hell he's taking. I don't know. I don't know what's... I don't know what secret that's in there. So he's like, you can't even hope to defeat me. Which is probably true. I probably can't hope to defeat him. But we'll see. I think this is the this might be the final battle. I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong. Yeah, this guy's got a weird... Yeah. Am I supposed to... I don't even know how to take care of... I don't even know how to fight this guy. He's got a lot of... Oh, I can move around. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, this is gonna be a, a really painful battle. Takes a lot of hits. This isn't even fair. Ooh, wow, this is gonna be a long one, I have a feeling, guys. I think what's gonna end up happening is I'm going to uh I'm going to have to uh like cross screen this guy. Alright, leave me alone. Lock on to him. How did the one guy do it? Alright, we're doing alright. Alright, maybe not that alright. Run away, run away, run away. Come on. takes a lot of hits. Holy shit. You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to just off-screen this, because this could take a while. Oh. 
I'm gonna tell you how I beat this son of a bitch. Whew. Okay, so I have just found out that if you hold down the R2 button, that's the aiming button, and you move the analog stick around, you can actually move the targeting thing around. It's a little late, I know, but I've been testing it out, and it seems to be working. So what I did was when I was shooting at him and he spun around, I hit back. Whatever back was for uh, for the game. Metro. So, like, let's say he was Metro. right in front of me. I would aim back and then keep shooting and shooting it. And shooting and shooting. Metro. Yeah, it was a real pain in the ass. Holy shit, I hope I don't have to do that again. Wowie. Yeah, and you just have to get into the corner, the uh, bottom left corner, and just start shooting at him. That's what I saw. I was actually watching a video just to kind of see if there's any kind of tactics. And luckily, there was a guy who had played a little bit of it, like showed off part of the battle. But yeah. Oof. It was hard as hell. It was really, 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 really hard. Holy moly. That guy was really hard. I hope that's the end of it, though. Apparently that... I guess... Oh, okay. So he had some sort of ship with a barrier thing on it. That's what this Faust guy had. If that's what his name is, I don't know. But yeah, really, really hard. Holy shit. Holy shit, was he hard. And the thing about it is, you just gotta kind of get ahead of him on the on the damage level, because it looked look like every time you hit him twice, you took one you took one damage. So yeah, now we're hearing. Now we're hearing. Yeah, this is this is the Arcadia. Talking about how we can't. Talking about how you, we need to go see him. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it did take a long ass time. And I apologize for not talking to the battle, but I was really, really concentrating. So you have to once again. Like, as he's spinning around you, you have to kind of move the analog stick as he's going to try to keep your pointer... Well, maybe not... Maybe not at his, uh... At his direction, but where he might be next, so... If he's... he's it's, when he loses about half of his HP, he starts spinning around you a bunch. So you just gotta kind of go back and forth and stuff. It's crazy. And yeah, so now they must be talking about like this giant spaceship that, uh, that, that this guy took over. So now he's like, yeah, we can do this. There's a gun that we can shoot. That's amazing. So I think we're going to have to head back to his ship, the Arcadia. But yeah, you, oh man, that was such a hard battle. That was the hardest battle I've ever fought in this game. Hands down. Even harder than... Queen Andromeda, because at least she had a, at least she had a pattern and I could actually dodge. So Harlock's got an idea he got from Tetsu, uh, uh, Toshiro. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna kick ass. We got our final plan. Yeah, let's take him out, that assassino. Oh look, uh, Maytel's got a gun too. This opens up some weird gun thing that's gonna shoot at us. Yeah, this guy is totally a, like a uh, evil friggin' Darth Maul kind of thing, because that's the kind of weapon he's got. What a jerk off. Yeah, he's. I don't think he's ripping off Darth, Darth Maul. Or Darth Vader. He actually does sort of have a, 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 a beard going on there. Robot beard. So 
So we're gonna fire. Please, 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 please. We put in all those guns for a reason. Captain! Juji no hoko ni energy gen tasu sekin. Aratika? Yeah. Korewa. Do you say So what's going on? Tina. Neji des. Mus. Neji? Meiji? The Meiji era? Is it coming back? Yeah, so now this thing is like gonna shoot at us. Is that a giant bolt? Whoa, what the hell was that? Who just saved our ass? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? So now. did they just shoot at us? Who saved our ass? Was it the robot guy? No! Who was it? Someone explain to me. エネルギーシールド発生。配備完了しました。キャプテン、第一装甲板の下のエネルギー配線が火を吹いてます。カモン。このまま敵艦に突っ込め。うん。そう、what's This reminds me of something from uh, Star Ocean 2. When they shot at the ship, the ship defended for a bit, but then it got destroyed. And apparently this guy's just yapping. was that? There we go. Yeah. Look at that, we beat it. But not without the sacrifices of, of uh, some guy. But yeah, we made the uh, we made the world safe again, the galaxy safe. Yeah, here is uh, our ships. We landed on, I think this is the ice planet. And we finally put Tochiro to rest. Huh? Oh, these are all the dead guys. So now Toshiro has really done it. And I think that's it. I think we can sit back and watch the credits roll. As uh, T Toshiro returns to Earth. Or Tetsuro, I'm sorry, Tetsuro. Yeah, apparently that's it, I guess. Unless there's another part, but yeah, so he saved Maytel, uh, someone apparently died. Oh no, I guess there's more.。自分の体で生きられるだけ生きたいと思った。命の一瞬一瞬を精一杯に生きることが先に死んでいった友達への供養になると思うのだ。but at least now we can go back a bona fide space pirate. I mean, he met so many cool people along the way. He's like grown up quite a bit through his journey. And yeah, so him and Maytel are gonna hang out for a bit, but eventually Maytel does have to leave him. And help other people just like in that 
in that, uh, just like in the, uh, what is it, the, uh, you know, bizarro version of it, you know what I mean, the bizarro version of Maytel where she, she was helping out another guy, like alternate, alternate dimensions and whatnots. So yeah, that's it. That's uh, that's it for Galaxy Express. I'm pretty sure. I don't know how. I don't think there's anything left for me to do. I personally think this might be it. I will check and see if there's anything else, but I'm pretty sure there isn't. But yeah, I really enjoyed this game. Uh, I think it was pretty fun. I'd have to say that there was a lot of dialogue, obviously, and and uh, the thing about it is, is I don't know any of it. Some people might have been able to translate it and like figure it out. I hope that this LP could actually help boost, um, help boost, uh, what the hell is it? Awareness of Galaxy Express, because it is a terrific series and, and I hope everyone enjoyed watching it. I hope, uh, if there are Galaxy Express fans that they eventually run into this thing, because it's this is a fun game. I like the graphics, especially for a PS1 game. That was a lot of fun. I don't know how much replay value this game would be because, I mean, it's pretty much, you know, like, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, linear. Yeah, and I'm not sure why we're getting this problem here. But yeah, graphics were nice. The music's pretty good. The music's actually very good. I liked it a lot. Very familiar, very similar to the Galaxy Express actual soundtrack from the actual show, which was pretty cool. I kind of like how we're going to seeing all the planets and everything as we're going back. But, um... I'm sure if you understood Japanese, probably the game would flow a lot better, but since I was playing it 100% blind, it, you know, it obviously, you know, I did have a couple bumps in the road there, but uh, other than that, I think the game's really good. I wonder what the collecting those um, Space Pirate cards were for. Um, I don't know, but yeah, really good game, especially if you like the Galaxy Express series. I want to try to do, personally, I want to try to do one anime-based game, like, every couple of months, or every couple of LPs, LPs. Like, one game I plan on doing in, in the future is the Tenshi Moyo, uh, the Tenshi Moyo, uh, tactical RPG game. That one's pretty fun. Yeah, I'm, I apologize. I don't know what the hell is going on with the audio. check my disc. But yeah, I really apologize for this. This is awful. And this shouldn't be happening during the end of the game, but there's really nothing I can do at this point. I'm not gonna... I don't know what it is. If it's friggin... Because I did... Like I said, I did rip this from straight from the disc that I had, but it didn't have any scratches or anything like that. But yeah, I like this game, and good production values, a lot of voiceovers, which was really cool. They did stick to the, yeah, I don't know what that was. They did stick to uh, the anime and manga pretty closely. From what I was reading, they actually did, like, that ghost ship thing that we were on, that was actually, like, a special uh, one-shot thing that they did. Yeah, I think it was a great game, and uh, if it ever gets translated into English, I hope that they are able to kind of use my, uh, if, they, if anyone, if like, anyone actually like translates this game into English, I hope they kind of use my LP to see, like, the general thing or whatever. I mean, I'm sure it's easy to kind of just rip, rip the, the dial, uh, the um, script or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, 
I really enjoyed it. Especially since Galaxy Express was one of my, uh, one of my favorite ma animes back in the day. And yeah, that's about it. Let's see if there's anything else special at the end here. Now, if I do a new game, what's going to happen? Hmm. Now, we can pick anyone we want. But I'm pretty, pretty much done, so... If I hit X, what's it going to do? Go back to the title screen? Yes, it does. So, anyways, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this Let's Play. Let me just check this one little thing. Anything in here that I can change? No. Alright, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play of uh, Galaxy Express 3.9, even though it was blind and totally in Japanese. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I don't really have anything else to say, except if you, if you really enjoyed the game and you're interested in the story, I highly suggest the Galaxy Express movies and manga. So this has been Kench1913, and I'll see you guys and gals in the next Let's Play. Bye-bye.